Hello and welcome. Today we're at the Lego House in Billund for a double birthday celebration. So the Lego House turns five years old this year and of course it is also the 90th year of play for the Lego group as well. So we are going to take a very good look at this absolutely enormous Lego cake. Now you've got to pay attention to everything. Everything is at a slightly different angle but word of warning there is a lot of flashing lights within this video so if you are sensitive to flashes then just be careful. If you look at the drummer's arms and everything like that they are all just at a slightly different angle. If you look at the spaceships and everything else it'll all make sense as it goes but this thing is absolutely enormous and the detail is amazing. Now to get this actually going there's a push button on the side so we actually caught the end of that spin cycle and then we're going to watch the whole thing as it goes round from start to finish and just sort of the process of what it does. It is extremely impressive. There is a lot to take in and there's obviously a lot of detail on this cake as well. So this is setting off the things to come within the next couple of uploads or the multiple uploads from the Lego house because this is only going to be here until the end of this month and then at the start of October obviously everything will then change for Halloween. So the current date is the 10th of September. I filmed this on the 9th of September so it's a very very quick turnaround for this video just because of obviously how time sensitive this is because I don't want to get this uploaded and then it's all to do with the Halloween bits and pieces that are there. They might keep the cake there as a thing for the 90th year of play maybe and add a Halloween display in as well because this doesn't have, I don't think this has been here too long but maybe it's not going to be there a huge amount of time so it is one of those you might blink and you miss so hopefully if you've not seen it or you have been to the Lego house and you missed out on this display over the summer this is something for you to have a look at and see so like I said we are at the base of the Lego house you do not need to pay for a ticket to be able to come and see this we also have access to the Lego house Lego shop as well and you can have a look at all the models and you can book a table and grab a bite to eat and use their restaurant. So we are away for this. Now you can see what it's going to do and it will all make sense. It just takes a little while to get going. So it will get quicker and quicker and quicker. And then, like I said, it will start flashing. So just be careful. But what it gives is absolutely amazing. But it just takes a little while to, a little while to speed up. I don't know if there was a thing on it regarding how many bricks and everything was used. I couldn't see it, but then I might have just been blind. There was so much to take in because there is Lego stuff, well, shall I say Lego birthday stuff and cake absolutely everywhere. Right, it is technically now flashing. So depending on how it is coming through on your screen, hopefully you are all okay. But how amazing does that look? I will zoom in, we will get a closer detail of absolutely everything, so we will see all of the little bits and pieces that are missed, and what we, I will do is zoom in on each row, and then we'll see it spin round as we go, and there are other little bits and pieces to come within this video. I actually finally managed to film all the fish and everything, and have a look at a couple of the other little models that are within, and then all the other videos that are going to follow quite quickly will be everything Lego House Party related, with regards to all different bits and pieces like this, with regards to obviously birthday celebrations, how you can make your Lego cake and all that sort of stuff. Let me know in the comments below, like I said, if you have been to Lego House before, have you seen this display? Did you even know this display was here? So you can see I've actually now zoomed in now and you can see the detail on each tier and we will have a better look as it goes round and as I move round the actual cake as well, because I think I film it from two sides just to see what it, just to see what it looks like. So let us know what your favorite tier is on this cake. And do you think you would have the patience to make something like this at all? So it's all to do with the lights and how it all works and everything else like that. And obviously you can see now it is fully going with the flashes and then it will stop flashing and then obviously it will just slow, it will just slow down. So it is a very impressive and clever display of things. So every time I've come so far, we managed to get the brickhead display. Last time I came, that was a celebration of all the brickheads. Now obviously celebrating the birthday of the Lego house and obviously the company as well. Uh, they do a fantastic winter village display, which I'm really looking forward to trying getting back over here for Christmas and actually having a look at that's something I am really looking forward to. So it is now just starting to slow down. So that is the pace that it spins. So now you can't actually see what they are doing, what they are moving. 
So I will let it slow down. The button will get pushed again because it took a little while for me to realize how much to zoom in to be able to see it correctly. But you can see around the back, big, big scale, massive, massive area where you can just sit down, really laid back and relaxed. But this was a massive cent centerpiece, really. Everybody was coming in, getting photos taken and just basically put it up onto, onto social media as well. The amount of people that were using their phone and everything on it was, was fantastic. But you can just see how they've used all the different colours and it's amazing that it just all has to be off literally by a stud just to give that um, vision of it moving around. But you can see there with the fan blades, it's a little bit easier, just how much difference they are off. So we are going to be going again. We'll have a good look. Like I said, nice and slow now of me moving down from tier to tier. Then you can let me know exactly what one your favourite one is. And then we'll have another quick look around the base of the Lego house. So this, as I was saying, is where you can actually get your um, wristband. So you just scan it in on your phone, you get your wristband, and it then gives you access to go up the staircase into the Lego house, which will be one of the next videos that we do because there is dinosaurs and Lego cake to come. So all of that, like I said, will more than likely be got. It will get all ripped out for Halloween and then it will be replaced with all the Halloween decorations. I did visit this at Halloween last year and it did look very, very good with all the bats and everything up and around the ceiling and all the pumpkins, but this is all to do with the birthday. So here we go, nice and slow. Look how much all of this moves. There's a lot to take in. So this is what we did not see last time. It took a little while for me to actually realize, and you can't notice it on some of them, how much they do move and how much the gaps are. But again, did you know it was the minifigures that moved and the yellow castle? I like the fact that that is obviously a little tribute to all the new sets that have been re-released in the old school styles. You've got obviously the spaceship and the new castle. That was obviously the originals on that one. Then it looks like we've got the mine storm, do we think? Let's see what we can figure out each one of these are. The fan blades, you, you, you could see when that was still how much round they go just to be able, but did you see the guy behind it and the one that is falling over in front? So what are you more impressed about that they are able to actually do? And like I was saying, do you think you could be able to do this yourself? Do you think you'd be willing to give this a go? Would you have the patience to do something like this? Or can you just imagine it being an absolute nightmare? And obviously on a much, much, much smaller scale. I wouldn't even know where to start, to be fair. I would not know where to start whatsoever. I like the writing at the top. I like everything. It's, it's just a such a good, a good place that we've got it sort of placed within the ground you can, you can just come in you've got plenty of space around it you're not fighting for space or anything like that uh, it's a well away from where you do get the uh, wristbands for the tickets the other side of the cake is where you can get your photo taken with all the lego models and everything where you can obviously sit down you have to just grab a drink and get your bearings and like i said all of this you do not need a ticket for so you can just come in have a look at it i did this literally as i landed i came straight to here because i wanted to see this and then i did enter the lego house on the second day and got all of the filming done on the second day but you can just see now it's starting to slow down and then we'll have a quick pan round so you get an understanding of where everything is the lego shop is directly behind the cake right at the other door on the right hand side is the main entrance if you did see the uh 90th year of play live stream that they did um their breakfast this is where it was done at the lego house and it was right in front of the shop so how much work they did for that short period of time was obviously amazing so another quick pan down, that was all the stuff. So you can see the clock hound, the clock face. You can see all the sort of the dribblage on the bottom of the cake. And then somebody then pushes the button again and we are away. But that is the 90th year of play for the birthday cake. I think it's very, very impressive. Now up and around we go. I think we now just find a bit that I've never been before, which is these fish. So as you can see, there's a door, emergency exit to the right hand side, but there's a, a, a turkey twizzler door that you can walk through as well, just to the right hand side. But this is right by the lift where if you have your wristband you can actually get on the lift and it takes you to the rooftop but it's um on this side it is the same bit of the rooftop that you can actually access from the outside but there is another roof access point where it's to the lego house only all of this will be available in a completely different video but you can just see how detailed all of these models are and this is something 
that I've always seen, but I've never had time just to stop and film. I've always been in too much of a rush just to either get something else done or I've just run out of memory cards or anything. But I was determined first day, this at the very least would be what I wanted to show off. Now, if you want to see a little bit more of the ground level of the Lego house, the reason why I'm not showing all off is because there was a recent upload from this ground level. Uh, a couple of months well, probably about six weeks ago and that is the brick heads so if you're interested in your brick heads you can have a look at the brick head video but we have a look at the downstairs i explain it in a little bit more detail of how you get in where you got the stairs where this big tree is and then there's about a 15 minute video of looking at every single brick head so far from one person's collection that's a very very impressive thing but that is why some of these videos that will be uploaded now not everything will get shown it's supposed to be in conjunction with the videos that have already been uploaded so the one is one big playlist but it doesn't overlap themselves it's not the same thing all the time because obviously they do change certain parts of the house quite a lot other bits they don't change too much and then obviously they'll rip out certain displays some of the displays are on the show for about a year others get changed regularly and seasonally but up on the windows they've got all the different artwork on the outside and that is exactly where we are heading to now. So we're going to finish the video outside. This is one of the big doors that you can come through. And they have this door at the shop access. This is actually the restaurant side. So the, all the chairs and everything are behind me. You then walk in a good distance. And then you can actually sit down and grab a bite to eat. And we're not, as you can see, we're not too far from that Lego cake. But it does mean that I'm running out of time. So let me know what your thoughts are within the comments below. Hopefully looking forward to all the new types of videos that are going to be coming up over the next couple of weeks. Lots of birthday celebrations to happen before it then changes to the Halloween season. But guys, if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da.